Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living or a time worth having when a man who has had experience in radio and owns that capability does a radio cast or a podcast or an audio cast or a video cast, he has the right to do that. The truth is anyone can do them if they know how. Anyone can do them if they take the time to write a storyline. A storyline is not a line. A storyline in the newspaper is not a line and there's a certain triangle that you write from. When you're doing audio files for a video channel network, that is something else completely. The storyline has to take all kinds of twists and turns so people will pay attention. It's sort of like the old records we used to have as kids called Let's Pretend. It was a way for parents to keep their kids kind of steady and meaning that they could put them down with a snack for lunch after their naps and give them something to listen to that was educational. Many times they were the Brothers Grimm's stories or maybe they were something else teaching a moral of the story. But only a moron parent doesn't take time to review a film before a child sees something and doesn't take the time to repair the child for the movie theater when they go there to say this is what the experience is going to be like this is what we expect in terms of your behavior this is what we are or not going to buy in food this is what we will and won't do while we're there if you need to use the toilet you will tell me immediately but we prefer that you prepare yourself to pee before you go in there so we can all enjoy the entire film without having to get up one time at the same time we will not tolerate immoral behavior we will not tolerate temper tantrums and cries. We will pay attention to the fact that there are other people in that theater who have rights to listen to a story, to watch a movie, to do what they need to do to enjoy their life. When we go to a restaurant, this is how we behave. We sit in our chair and we behave. When we receive our food, we give grace and we thank God for the fact there is food that we can eat and money from our family, from our earnings, from our father's or mother's work that pay for our food. We also thank God in a time of COVID that we are still alive and that we still have good health or we are still in the most stable health if we learn that God has chosen to give us COVID. Now maybe God chose to give you COVID because you've been leading an immoral life. Maybe God chose to give you COVID because you were not doing things right in life. Maybe God chose to give you COVID to see what kind of mature person you are. It is your job to tell people that you have intimate relationships with, meaning those that you're mouthing on, those you're kissing, those you're fucking, those you're sucking, that you have COVID, because if you don't, then you're immoral. And that's the truth. But the one thing we absolutely know in our world is that every individual has medical rights, and they do not belong to any doctor, they do not belong to any nurse, they do not belong to any person that gives us pharmacy information or drugs, they do not belong to a total stranger to walk up while we're sleeping anywhere and give us a shot. And they do not belong to any food person to allow themselves to put something potent in our food. What we know about human trafficking is it just takes a stupid person to get involved in that. What we know about the liars of America is they think they have rights to harm other people. And they don't see themselves, don't want to view themselves as abusers, but they are. Under the law, they are. Under God's rules, they are. Under society mores, they are. Under social etiquette, they are. And every time they do something, they only empower themselves, only to lose their power with other people.